This is part 3 of Link to XML tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss querying XML document using Link to XML. In parts 1 and 2 of this video series, we discussed creating XML document using Link to XML. In this video, we'll discuss how to query XML document using Link to XML. What we want to do is retrieve all the student names from this XML who has total marks greater than 800. We also want the student names to be sorted by total marks in descending order. So let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. This is the piece of code that helped us create this data.xml file which contains student data. So let's delete this piece of code and write our link query instead. So what we are going to get back is list of student names, which means we'll be getting back i enumerable of string objects. i enumerable is present in system.collections.generic namespace. So let's bring that in. So i enumerable of string. And let's call the variable names equals. So the link query is going to start with from keyword from student n so we need to load our xml data so we are going to make use of this x document class and it has got the static method load all we need to do is specify the path of the xml file from where we want to load the xml data so let's get the path of this xml file and then pass that to this method so now from this XML file, we want all the descendants of this student element, right? So we are going to make use of descendants method. So dot descendants of student element. So once we have the descendants of student element, then we want to do some filtering. So we are going to make use of where keyword. We only want students who has total marks greater than 800. So where student dot element of total marks. So we want to typecast total marks to integer type. So we only want students who has got total marks greater than 800. And we want to sort the students by name, I mean by total marks in descending order. So we are going to make use of this order by class. So order by total marks descending. And then we want to select name of the student. So select student.element. What is the name of the element? It's name. So we want the name value. So all that is left now is to use a for each loop. So for each string name and names, let's print out the name of the student onto the console. So this console class is present in the system namespace. So let's bring that in first. Let's run this and notice that we get the three students who has total marks greater than 800 and their names are in descending order you know, of total marks. Okay, so this is one way of writing that link query. So we are using descendants here, which is going to give us the descendants of student element. Okay, instead of that, we can also write this link query like this dot element. So we first start from the root element which is students and then from there we want elements what elements we want student element and then from that we are getting total marks and then name elements. So now when we run this, we should get the identical output. So two ways of writing the same query. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.